Today's topic is about the sources of water. Have you ever wondered how do we get water? The first source of water is the rain. Rain is droplets of water that fall from clouds. Heat from the sun turns water into water vapor which disappears into the air. This vapor rises, cools, and change into tiny water droplets which form cloud. It's likely to rain when you see dark clouds approaching. They are dark because they are full of big water droplets that block out the light from the sun. Stream flow Surface run off Snow is also the source of water when it melts. Every time humans disrupt the natural water cycle, there is a consequence. When large quantities of water are diverted or taken out of the natural system, for example, when water is pumped out through wells, this affects the local surface water supply, which, in the long run, affects the ecosystem, plants and animals as well as the local communities. When rain falls on the land, this is known as precipitation. Parts of the rainwater runs across the land and into the rivers and streams. This is called surface runoff. Some of the rainwater that falls also seeps into the ground. This is called infiltration. The water which seeps into the ground passes through a zone of aeration and into the zone of saturation. The water in this zone is called groundwater. The dividing line between these two zones is called the water table. The second source of water is the lake. The third source of water is the river. Water has unique characteristics. One of the unique characteristics is the fact that water always flow from the higher to the lower place. The next source of water is the ocean. About 70 to 80 percent of the Earth's surface consists of water. There is still much about the oceans that we don't know. Much of the ocean and lives inside remain unexplored. Have you ever seen a water tower like this? The next source of water that is developed by the government is called as the reservoir. Water towers help give high water pressure in flat areas. You can see this picture if you need further details information, but because I teach the lower grade of science, I don't think it's necessary for the students to know more about this, but it's okay to getting know about this. This is called as the heart-shaped reservoir. 
It is located in America. It is quite famous and very beautiful. Okay, that's all from me today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. See you next time. Bye bye.